Okay, this video is called Why I Don't, I, I don't Sugarcoat It, and it's in response to some viewer comments that have come in recently. Um, I've, been, I've heard a couple things like, you know, you should let go of your cockiness, your arrogance is unbecoming, you know, you'll have more impact if you stop using words like stupid and fat, your language is too judgmental, lacking in compassion, and I'm like, you know what? I tell people the truth and basically it's like you talk to your friends and your family. You just tell them the truth. You know, they could take it or leave it. And one viewer made a good comment. They said being blunt and, on blunt and honest is not the same thing as being demeaning and else. It's just the truth. Certain things are going to make you fat. Certain things are going to make you stupid. And the danger of becoming stupid when it comes to health is that once people become stupid, they tend to also have a drop in their energy. And for me, what that signals is that they have zero chance of ever getting better because it takes you know, some intelligence, some energy, some curiosity to say, well, gee, I made a mistake. I can't eat meat and oils and processed food anymore. And you could turn things around. But what I see in my regular practice and medical experience for over 30 years is people get stupid and that's it. It's like basically game over. They, they never get better. It's just this progressive deterioration, drug, 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 chop, 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 and they're screwed. Most people are screwed. Most people do very poorly. Okay. I see bad outcomes every day of my medical career, and it's kind of sad. You know, I, I like doing this. I learned all this stuff, thought people can have good outcomes, so I make this site available to give them a chance. And then also, you know, I'm not cocky about my social skills, my business skills, or whatever, but my academic skills, I am real confident about them, and I have to be, because you have to remember, it's not like being an athlete when you're good, everybody likes you. In academics, the better you get in medical stuff, the more people hate you and do nasty things to you. They're jealous. They're passive aggressive. All kinds of crap. You know, basically, I've rewritten all the internal medicine textbooks and the neurology textbooks. I'm proud of that. It's a great achievement. But I know it makes people hate me and ostracize me. Like I said, tons of doctors watch my show. Not a single one's ever invited me to do a, a conference or an interview with them. Never. Not a single one. Okay? It's just like McDougal. Not a single patient was sent to him. All right? That's just how it goes. Um, and you have to be confident because the world's always trying to smack you down. If you're not confident and if you don't believe in yourself, then you really can't achieve much. Um, you have to pay the price. It's like the book that Colonel Boyd had said. He said, you either sell out and then when you sell out, the system promotes you. You know, if you sell out, you'll get millions of views, you'll get sponsors and all this other stuff. But if you tell the truth, all you do is you get, you know, people pissed off at you, you get shadow banned and, and that's, you know, Everything I do is going to be shadow banned the rest of my career. There's, there's like zero chance this site will ever be popular. I know the truth about how the internet works. But my goal, you know, I look at the niches. There's niches in the nutrition world, okay? Most of the YouTube channels on nutrition, you know, are BS, paleo, keto, carnivore, sellout, liars. But, you know, there's some vegans that are pretty nice. A lot of them are young. They're real gullible. What I've noticed about a lot of the young vegans is they trust whatever they, some expert says, you know. They're, and it's sort of like, you know, one of the good things about me, I don't trust so-called experts at all, okay? I've been around a long time. I've been at the fancy places, Stanford, Harvard, and these other places, and I know how dishonest and full of crap they are, so I'm not too impressed by fancy names or titles at all. Um, there's cooking vegan sites, if you like doing that. There's really good-looking vegans. A lot of times they're just total BS artists. Um, there's the high-fat phony school of veganism. That's like one of the most popular ones. To be popular, too, you'd have to promote soy, coffee, omega-3, all this other nonsense. You know, people sometimes say to me, oh, why don't I go be on so-and-so show? I told you, you know, what I say, Plant Chomper says I'm divisive, all these other ones that a lot of people know. They won't interview me with, they wouldn't go near me because I'm not like them. I'm not a high-fat phony. I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, and I'm not going to be wimpy, and I'm a Christian, and all this other stuff. It, it, it prevents me from being interviewed, like I said. I'm like the bad boy of veganism, and that's the truth. But also, I talk about toxicology. Most sites will never go around, search around. How many do you see teaching you about toxicology? Uh, almost none of them, okay? I don't, I'm not even aware of anybody who's good on toxicology. Okay, um, you know, Dr. Anthony J has a few, he's good on estrogenic. I like him on estrogenic, but yeah, you know, there's not much. Okay, so basically, if you look at the niches, the only thing there is for me to do is try to be the best one, and that's what I'm trying to do. And I think I already am in most ways. There's some, you know, there's some really good sites for a lot of different stuff. But, you know, I have the perfect background to study really complicated things in detail, the brain, etc. I don't have to sell or promote anything, so I don't have to BS or lie or play any games for that. I don't have to worry about getting a lot of views, so I don't see. When a YouTube channel wants to get a lot of views, they can't say almost anything. They can't talk about 
you know, the stuff that's in the water, F minus. They can't talk about all these commercial products. Anytime you badmouth commercial products, you get this big drop in your video views, okay? And I'll, you'll often get a drop in your view count for the whole week. So there's no incentive to do it. Um, what else did I say? Oh, what I would suggest people do is, you know, sign up for my uh, my newsletter. I haven't made a newsletter in a while. I've been working too much. But at least if you have the newsletter, what that basically means is just you give me your email so that I can email you. If I ever get booted out of here, which, you know, might happen. Who knows? If I ever get booted out of here, I'll go to some other video channel. And I'll just send whoever's on that email. I'll send them an email and let them know where I'm going to be, you know. Uh, there's other video channels. I like YouTube because... It's got good software and it's real easy to use and it's where the biggest audience is. But there's other ones where you're less likely to get booted off or hassled and I'll go to one of those if I have to. But anyways, that's why I just tell things like it is and I know a lot of people like that. Lots of viewers tell me they appreciate I tell them the truth. I don't BS them. I don't waste their time. You can go back through my first video. You can go through every single one of them. I've known from the beginning that was my strong point. So I've always you know, going down that approach. I've also known from the beginning I'll never be a popular BS artist, so I've always gone down the path of trying to be the best one. And I actually think I am already, and I could continue to hold that spot because I know what most of the other ones are doing. You know, you guys are the public, and I can tell you the pros don't even know. You can lie to the pros 10 times, and they don't even know it. But I know when somebody's telling the truth or lying. I know enough to know, okay? And, and there's a lot of big lying going on. So anyways, uh, that's where things are at.